Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, how y'all doing? It's Kaiser, and I honestly did not plan on doing a video tonight. It has been a long day. I have had a lot of not-so-great things happen, but this story broke earlier this afternoon, and it absolutely blew my freaking mind. It blew my mind so much, in fact, that immediately after seeing this, this post in particular, I sent up the bat signal to all of my LawTube friends, folks that I know, you know, through, is it through LawTube and just kind of, you know, through association, that this is horrific and needs people to look into it because I need somebody to explain to me, as I put it in Neanderthal terms, exactly how this happens be and, and i said put it on blast because this deserves to be shouted down this is absolutely sick disgusting depraved and utterly fucking gross i'm just gonna come out and say it so i i don't even i'm just i'm not gonna pull any punches here folks i know that this video is gonna probably get demonetized is is probably not going to get put up in the algorithm so i really need you people out there to share this video out to get that information out there and i really need you guys to hit the like hit the subscribe and please for the love of god anything you can do to help the channel i extremely extremely appreciate it i try to get these videos out as much and as fast as i can but yeah, this was absolutely ridiculous. So the story at hand, Disney says a man can't sue over his wife's death because he agreed to Disney Plus's terms of service. I, what? It's like I picked the wrong week to quit sniffing blue. I don't understand how this is even a thing, but yeah, this, we need to move on. So let's actually get into the actual reading of what is going on here. So this is actually coming from Law and Crime, and yes, to some of my fellow friends who are LawTube aficionados, yes, I realize Law and Crime, Law and Cuck, whatever you want to call it, but let me just, they, they've got the information on this one. This is about as succinct as I could find it. So let's just read this, this article and let's just get into it here. So does Disney Plus membership keep you and your loved ones out of the court system in the event of an alleged Disney-related death? That's what the mouse-themed entertainment company would have the court believe and what a dead woman's family is fighting against. And I'm going to probably butcher this pronunciation. I apologize. And... That is, Dr. Kanak Porn and Tang Swan died in October 2023, allegedly because her meal at a Disney World restaurant in Florida contained nuts and dairy, well-known allergens, to which she was deathly allergic. Now, apparently, this uh, this place, Raglan Road, it's not actually within Disney Parks proper. It's actually part of like the uh, the restaurants in the Disney Park area. So this is actually a um, this is not a place in the park that you need like a ticket to go to. You could just go there. That's the information that I've been able to glean on this. So, you know, just, just saying this is not inside the Disney park itself. This is actually part of like the other attractions outside of Disney parks. But anyway, so rather than contest the facts or litigate the merits on those allegations, however, Disney wants the case decided by their preferred arbitration organization. The result is mandated in this case, the company says, because Tang Swan's widower signed up for a Disney streaming service and in doing so, signed a contract, which agree when agreed that any and all disputes with the company would be decided through the use of mandatory binding third-party arbitration. What the fuck is wrong with you? I, I, I don't even know how you think that that is okay, but all right. Attorneys for the deceased woman's estate are in turn imploring a judge to reject what they are calling an 
quote, incredible argument, unquote. They say Disney's position would mean anyone who signs up for a Disney Plus free trial, quote, will have forever waived the right to a jury trial enjoyed by them and any future estate to which they are associated, unquote. As, quote, as can be seen from the prior sentence, this argument borders on the surreal, unquote. The plaintiffs argued in a 123-page filing on August 2nd. So, yeah, let's, let me just parse that out for you again. So, what, according to Disney Plus and Disney's lawyers, according to their terms of service for Disney Plus, if you have even signed up for a free trial of Disney Plus ever at all, then by accepting the terms of service for that free trial, you cannot sue Disney ever. You could get hit by, you know, a, a car that is driving down Main Street through Disney and, you know, even if Mickey Mouse was driving the car or the deceased corpse Walt Disney was driving that car, you couldn't sue Disney because you signed up for a Disney Plus subscription. Again, I'm trying to combat the absurd with the absurd here. I'm trying to make this make sense, and the only way to do it is to kind of combat, like I said, combat the absurd with the absurd. This is insane to me. So again, if a Ferris wheel falls on you inside the Disney park, anywhere inside Disney parks, apparently you can't sue them, you know, for wrongful death. In this case, this poor woman's family has to deal with the fact that this woman died as a result of anaphylactic shock or anaphylaxis, and how it happened is absolutely ridiculous. Let the let me break this down for you. Let me just break this down. So this is actually the next section here. So Piccolo, his mother, and Tang Swan ate at the Raglan Road Irish Pub and res Restaurant in Disney Springs on the evening of October 5th, 2023. The trio only chose the restaurant in question because both Disney and staff members were made it repeatedly and abundantly clear that Raglan Road had, quote, proper safeguards to protect patrons, unquote, from food allergies, as Tang Swan was, quote, highly allergic to dairy and nuts, unquote, the lawsuit alleges. So again, right there, she's very allergic to dairy and nuts, and they very specifically asked people for in the area for restaurants that they might know of that are very careful with food preparation and are very, very conscious of that so they can avoid any problems. And both staff at Disney and others apparently made it clear that this place had proper safeguards in place. And I guess it was even advertised that they have proper safeguards in place for you know guests with food allergies. And yet whenever that happened, yeah, according to this here, but Tang Swan died from an allergic reaction later the same night, and it does not appear to be in dispute. According to a copy of the autopsy report gained by obtained by Law and Crime, the medical examiner performed a series of tests and reviewed Tang Swan's medical records before determining she had she died as quote the result of anaphylaxis unquote. The manner of death was determined to be an accident. The autopsy report showed that the doctor had quote, very high, unquote, levels of nut and dairy allergens in her system when she died. So despite all the warnings, despite all of the, you know, people telling them that, hey, this is, you know, something, this, this is an issue with this place takes care of that. Don't worry about it. And apparently, according to more information that I read in the actual brief, they very, they were very adamant to the staff at the restaurant that she had a food allergy and they needed to be extra careful, to which they were agreed to that. Well, she apparently came into contact with it. Apparently, it had a lot of dairy and nuts in it, and she died. And skipping ahead a little bit here. So in November 2019, Piccolo initially created a Disney Plus account through the Disney Plus website. Piccolo completed the com registration uh, web form by providing personal information including his email address, and created a password. Before registering the account, Piccolo had to select, quote, agree to continue, unquote, immediately above 
was a disclosure notifying Piccolo that, quote, by clicking the agree to continue, you'd agree to our subscriber agreement, unquote. Piccolo then selected a agree to con agree and continue. Yeah, this right here is from Disney's actual, yeah, their actual legal statement. So this is how Disney is framing out exactly what they, you know, their, their version of events. That is exactly what it's like. By clicking the agree to continue... By accepting the terms of the service agreement, yeah, uh, she apparently, you know, no, let me rephrase that. This guy, not her, this guy, who I'm assuming is her boyfriend or husband, whatever, yeah, he agreed to the terms of service. She died, and apparently because he bought the tickets to Disney, that somehow makes it not Disney's fault because terms of service. I can't make this shit up. Yeah, Piccolo also agreed to the Disney terms of use. Piccolo could not have agreed or could not have created a Disney account without doing so. After agreeing to the terms and conditions, Piccolo purchased park tickets and registered the decedent as his guest. Piccolo could not have completed the purchase without agreeing to Disney's terms. Yeah, again, this is Disney's filing. So apparently because he purchased or, you know, he signed up for Disney Plus free trial in November of 2019, in October of 2023, four years later, that means that just because his girlfriend or wife, whatever, died, yeah, don't, we, we're not going to actually take any of that seriously. And, you know, that's that. I... <sighs> Y'all, I don't have words right now for how absolutely fucked up this is. I literally do not have words right now for how completely just fucking insane this is. And again, this this video I'm sure is going to get, you know, demonetized. I'm sure it's probably going to not play well with, you know, YouTube and you know, algorithm. So I really desperately need you guys to please hit the like, hit the subscribe, please share this video on blast, go to my Twitter page, share out that, um, actual like post that I made trying to get more eyes on this thing. Cause this is sick. This is disgusting. And if we just roll over and take it and let, uh, Disney get away with this one, I know sure, probably some of my law two folks out there are probably thinking that, you know, what can you do? But I don't know. I'm serious. But like, if we just sit there and let the, this company do this and get away with it and not drag them through the mud to get, you know, people like to look at this, nothing's going to change. And that means that at some point or another, something like this or something even remotely crazy like that could even re possibly happen to somebody else. And I don't want that to happen. And I don't want Disney to set a set, use this to set a precedent for themselves. It's insane. It's unbelievable. And frankly, in my opinion, it's un-American and Walt would be ashamed. So anyway, folks like subscribe, share the video. I appreciate you all. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.